Hi guys, another recipe using rincha and today we're using the fish curry paste to make baked fish curry, okay? The fish that I will be using today is a beautiful piece of stingray that we'll be using for this recipe. If you do not like stingray, you can swap it out with anything you'd like, snapper, barramundi, sea bass, basically any fish you'd like, okay? We're not even gonna use a stove for anything. We've got our aluminium foil. There we go. On top of the aluminium foil, a nice piece of banana leaf. This banana leaf, once it gets that heat, is going to release all the wonderful flavor into our fish. Okay? We're just going to spread a little bit of this fish curry paste at the bottom. And we're just building layers upon layers. Okay? Here I have some lady's fingers. I'm just cutting this lady's fingers diagonally. There we go. Somehow lady's fingers, fish curry, they're like a match made in heaven. Okay, so first layer of eight lady's fingers down at the bottom. Nice crack of salt. Now, these lady's fingers do not only really serve as a vegetable in the dish. By laying them at the bottom, it also prevents the fish from burning up. Now, fish curry paste around. There's some oil in there. Use the oil as well. And then we have this beautiful, nice, fresh stingray. Dollop some fish curry paste on it. Use your hands and rub it all around. Give it a nice massage, making sure it's nice and even. This way, the fish will absorb all of that wonderful flavor from the fish curry paste. There we go, beautiful, nice. And now we're gonna season the fish. So, flip it over, a bit more salt. Again, this is fish curry paste that has already been cooked, so we do not need to fry up the paste, okay? And now, I'm gonna be adding more of this beautiful lady's fingers on the top, and generously now, adding more fish curry paste on top of this fish. There we go, nice. Okay, now another piece of banana leaf. And then we're finally going to wrap up this fish. Bring the two sides of the aluminum foil together. All right, and at the end, fold it downwards once and twice. Okay, this way we seal the top part of the aluminum foil and on the sides, very simply fold up. And this side as well. So now we have this parcel of fish here yeah, that's just going to be cooking inside this parcel, steaming away with all that wonderful paste that's inside, okay? You want to make sure that there is enough room on the inside because it needs to steam, yeah? For the steam to be able to move around and have its space to evenly cook the fish. If it's too tight, then the fish isn't going to be cooked evenly. Now, I've preheated the oven earlier to 200 degrees Celsius and now we're just going to chuck it in the oven. Put it in there and this will take about 10-12 minutes, okay? And this really depends on the size and the thickness of the fish, okay? So I've added another 10 minutes, yeah? So in total I've cooked it for 20 minutes. Now we're going to remove it from the oven. And it smells delicious. And we're just going to unwrap the top layer. Look at the steam just escaping from the packet. Fold it back. There we go. Remove the top layer of the banana leaf. I have an onion that I'm just going to slice up very thinly. Okay, and now I have bulacantan, or what we call ginger torch. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to slice very, very thinly because it's fibrous. Yeah? And we do not need a lot because it's very, very strong in flavor. It's very, very aromatic. I have some coriander, which I'm just going to pick off from the stem. So it has this nice shape and it holds itself. Now, I'm just going to stir up these three ingredients together. The onions, the ginger torch. Mix it all in, very simple. Just raise it up, put it on top. And there we have this really beautiful baked fish curry stingray. Now, the last thing we need is a little squeeze of calamansi. If you don't have calamansi, use lime. If you do not have lime, you can also use a bit of lemon, okay? Now that's it for in. There we go. It is really good. The flesh is so soft, so tender, so full of flavor from the spices of the Richard fish curry paste. Fantastic. And that's done, ladies and gentlemen. How easy is that? Till next time, folks. Ciao.